of the Lyme Mesita speaking to you from the Lyme Mesita.com. And it was Lyme Mesita.com today. The date is 27th of December 2014. The time is 11 in the night. Uh, today, I just want to share with you uh, my thoughts on, you know, the fact that can you achieve success, yes or no? Okay. Now, you need to understand that I train a lot of people. Uh, I train them at least uh, twice a week. I get groups who come and I train them. My specialization is personal brand management. So I train them in one is uh, uh, uplifting their brand or upgrading their brand so that they can be more employable. I teach them uh, strategies that I've learned in terms of peak performance. And I also share with them an education uh, which I learned from other books like uh, uh, material from Harvard Business Review to all of the books that I read. So that's what I do. Now, the one thing that I've noticed with people is there are different kinds of people, but let me share with you some of them. Now, the first category that kind of irritates me, that absolutely gets to me, is the ones who fool themselves in believing that they are improving. I'll give you this example. Can't give you the name of the person, but this guy is like, uh, he has been coming to me for, I think, nearly three years. Every time I ask him the question, okay, so how's your weight loss program going on? How is your exercise? How is your, you know, job hunt to something new? Every time when I ask him this question, it's perfect. Absolutely fine. Oh, my uh, strength and conditioning coach is telling me like I'm becoming absolutely fit. I am improving. My stamina is increasing. So, um, okay, fine. All right. What about um, job? So he says, yeah, I've been getting amazing responses. People have been talking, just negotiating the salaries. And then when I ask him, okay, if suppose you apply for a job somewhere, what would you tell them? You'd say, oh, I, I always tell them that uh, my contribution to the company has been amazing, whereby there has been a 125% growth. There have been like 100 million worth of uh, sales that I've done, blah, blah, blah. It goes on. Now, mind you, what seems to be a problem here? Uh, apparently his strength and conditioning coach finds him that he's losing weight, that, that he is improving. But I've seen him having the same pot belly, the same weight. In fact, his weight is increasing and it has, he has not been losing it for ages. In terms of his job uh, potential, where he says that many companies are now offering me jobs. From the, since past three years, he has not changed his job. He's in the same job, same position. And where he claims to have 125% growth and 100 million worth of, um, you know, uh, sales increase. The funny thing is, uh, then why is your company not giving you a promotion, a raise, an increase, an increment? Why are headhunters not looking for you? So the, the first type of people whom I really hate or get irritated with are those types who bullshit with themselves. They convince themselves that they're improving. They, they believe, even though all of the evidence proves otherwise. These are like the, the people whom I feel are uh, like the religious type. No matter what evidence you give them, they'll still believe in what they want to believe. The second category is the people who don't have the fire. I cannot, I really, really cannot tolerate them. These people are like, you know, my style of coaching is hardcore. It's like I'll sit on your head and I will keep chewing your brains. I'll push you. I'll... I'm not the type who, you know, put my arm around you and say, you can do it. Come on, you're special, you're sweet. No, I'm the hardcore type. I'll say, get up, you son of a bitch. You know, you need to, you need to do it. Okay, don't give me shit. Don't give me excuses. I give them left, right, and center. I'm like this hardcore type. So there are these softies who start crying. And they can't take it. I mean, what do you need? A tissue? What do you need? A, a small little towel to wipe your tears? Do you need me to give you a hug? I'm sorry if you need that kind of coach. Go bugger off. In fact, one, one female, she was a professor at a college and um, she wanted to know why her career was stagging, uh, stagnating. She was not moving forward. So I told her, it's simple because you have not upgraded yourself. Half the while you're hanging around in parties, you're going to meet your friends, you're not focused, you don't have the fire in you and uh, you have not educated or upgraded yourself. And she goes, like, how dare you speak to me like that? I said, what do you mean, how dare you ask me an honest opinion? I give it to you on your face. And they feel very sensitive. They feel very... And then she sent me a, a, a response. Well, boy, that was very rude. I felt very hurt. I'm sorry. That's not the kind of coach I want. I want a coach who nurtures me. Yeah, go get breastfed with someone. You know? And the third 
the third category that really really irritates me that i cannot stand are the ones who come to you for coaching but they end up giving you advice they end up telling you oh i know all this i know all this i've heard it oh yeah i just read it in harvard business review so you know more than the people at harvard business uh, school okay fine you share with them anything oh i already know this i already know this and then they'll just give you all the justification all the advice why they are where they are blaming everyone else other than themselves and the worst part is they come there they come to my coaching class to give me advice to train me to help me become better so these are the three most irritating types of people that i've coached and i really really hate them they suck out your energy they're the types you don't want and they are the types you wish would never coach so anyway lloyd from lloydmesida.com and who's lloydmesida.com these are the people i hate coaching and uh, i cannot stand let me know what you think I'd love to hear from you goodbye for now